have a a fun segment and guess what john i literally had cue cards <laughs> made do, for do, this do i get paid overtime for this bit then what, what, oh what my do? god <laughs> i need to get paid overtime. <laughs> So uh, this is the first of its kind. We're gonna have a fun rapid fire round with my boss. Y'all ready for this? Okay. And uh, right. again, John, no, no filter. Again, it, it can be either quick responses, a couple of questions might need a bit more time. It's, it's all good, but you've got to answer it. No escaping. All right. Okay. I'll give it, I'll give it my best shot. I mean, I, I feel like this is. The most amount of pressure I've ever been under in my career. So let's let's go. <laughs> All right. So since you're a huge uh, soccer fan, th this is an obvious question: Messi or Ronaldo? Be careful. Messi. Oh my god. Okay. Hundred percent. Ronaldo wow. played for Man United. There's, there's no chance I can say Ronaldo. <laughs> He's an idiot. Oh, I just okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. You've just you've just lost all your Man United fans, but gained all your yes. Liverpool fans. So <laughs> it's probably a one for one trade off. You are right. <laughs> so a follow up about Man United fans. So you have three options: Man United, Everton, or social media trolls. Who is the worst rival for Liverpool? Man United. <laughs> it, it, it was. It was. It's always been so easy with Everton for the last thirty plus years because they never win anything. Oh! Where, so it was. It was, an okay. easy, wow. it was an easy rivalry, but for Man United, it was. I mean, I would say twenty years of my life was just utter torture. So yeah, it, it, it's That's, it's a lot better now. Goat. Yeah. They're the goat. Yeah, well. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, you got to think about this carefully, all right? This okay. um this depends on a lot. Am I your best associate of all time? And be be careful because if you don't answer yes, I'm not working tomorrow. Um yes. <laughs> Wow. Well, I'll. Well, I mean, I, I'm crying on the inside. I, I, I gave the necessary answer to ensure productivity was maintained. I, I wanted, I wanted more like appreciation AJ, of love, but no. But okay. AJ, I will tell you now. You have the world at your feet. Now you just have and to go and do a few kickups with it. <laughs> yeah. All good. Now, this is going to be a controversial question for the family. All right. Oh. Uh, it's it's about your kids. You have two of them. Yeah. Um, number one and number two. Who do you prefer? You're a monster. <laughs> well, I've already said this to my wife, um, and and it's mainly it's a bit of an unfair advantage that the older one has because I I feel like you know you know me. I like to have conversations. I like to talk. I like to tell people things. Well, Elias, the older one, who's three and a half, just a little bit older than that, he can talk back and he actually asks me questions and he, he wants me to talk. Whereas Ezra, and he's kind of just like spitting stuff out of his mouth at the moment. And <laughs> it, it, it's not really the type of engagement that I'm looking for. So, you know, the, it, it, it's an easy one. But you, if you ask me again in five years, it could be a, a, a difficult proposition for me, that one. I hope the wife doesn't kill you, but okay. <laughs> she, she will anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> now, this is, an e <laughs> this is an easy one for you. Uh, tea or coffee? Neither. Never tasted either one. British. British. Uh, no, actually, I'm English. <laughs> British. Yeah, I, I don't like hot drinks. I've told you this one. It's like... Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's a... It's a, a phobia of some kind. I, I don't know if it's got a true definition behind it, but I'm sure it does. Got it. Okay. Biggest misconception uh, that people have on PMs like us? <laughs> I would say this role, this field, is not a specialist field. 
in the in the sense that like like i mentioned earlier didn't i this, this idea and it has changed don't get me wrong but where it was like oh we've got a project give give it give it to somebody who needs something to do um i think the misconception has always been that, that project management is fairly easy um mm. i think you and i can attest to the fact that <sighs> no hell no <laughs> no it's no. it's yeah it's definitely not an ego check for you. Your biggest project flop that you'd rather forget. Oh, I had um, I had a a couple to be honest. Um, <laughs> I, I I literally I ordered the wrong um, against the wrong SKU because you had to. This is a time you had to load in the part into ERP. Um, so which created demand in manufacturing. So manufacturing made the wrong product. Then we delivered the wrong product to the customer, who was a huge customer. It was a small project, but it was a huge customer who needed it um, to be on time. Otherwise, it was going to hold up a whole other project. Um, it, it could not have gone any worse. And the customer dressed me down so much that my boss had to step in and say, okay, I, I think we've got the picture. He got it wrong. Don't fail me again. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was, it was, it was a, a failure on my part. It, and I was, I was moving too quickly, trying to do too much. But at the end of the day, um, mm. my process steps failed me. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good saying. You've got to learn from your mistakes and that's how you grow. And the best thing about working in the US I, I honestly, uh, in all seriousness, I honestly believe the, the ability to have access to so many different types of opportunities. Um, I, if I had stayed in Europe or the UK in particular, I, I would not have been able to have made the types of moves that I've made in the, in the different uh, roles that I've had. Got it. Worst thing about missing the UK? Chocolate hobnobs. <laughs> oh, Greg's. Yeah, you, yeah it's not good. <laughs> the next piece is, do uh, you fancy a pint after work or a shot? Sambuca. Sambuca. <laughs> Nobody said Sambuca to me in nine years. <laughs> really? I don't think they, I don't think they have any. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's always a pint. Always a pint. Uh, controversial one. And, and be careful. You, we might get Scrum Master trolls in the comments. Uh, agile versus Waterfall. <laughs> Hybrid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and right, I did. From... I did say the value was there. I just. I just feel like we're losing a little bit of sight of we're... what what it all means ultimately. We're still gonna get the trolls, man. Yeah, just... I, know, I know. So from Top Gun, I'm pretty sure you've seen that movie, right? Oh yes. Uh, are you more of a Maverick or an Iceman PM? Ooh, that's a good one. I, I'd have. To, I'd have to go Maverick. No oh, cliche, yeah. Well, I, I, I just, I just, yeah, it's, it's a tough one that one because I don't know if either would apply, but I would go Maverick. And I don't know if you want to answer this, but uh, what is one deal breaker uh, during an interview that you would just immediately reject the candidate? Ooh. Well, yeah, this could be a few tips for the upcoming <laughs> interviews. <laughs> If, if they're if they're one of your subscribers I, I, well, I'll give you I'll give you an example to, to explain my... another one another one another one so a pet peeve of mine inability to follow the agreed direction that, that we're going to take so what happens is commonly I I will end up saying, Okay, run me through the highlights of your resume, right? And then somebody reads every line of the resume. And, and not only that, adds a little bit of flavor, a little bit of magic dust on top of that. And, and you lose time when really the, the, the resume portion as laid out is this idea of, hey, give me the highlights. Let's talk some real stuff soon. Let's not waste an hour on, on this. Because I know you've got what it takes from a resume standpoint, but let's connect with each other. And so it often tells you 
This this is the cell. And if that's the cell, I can't help you. I mean, that's a good one. I'm, I'm glad I didn't do that, and that's why I'm you good. didn't. That's you good. you were <laughs> you were actually one of my one of my best interviews. I will give you that compliment. Oh uh, yeah. Let's do the music. Exco, give it to you. Fuck, wait for you to get it on your own. Exco, deliver to you. Knock, knock. <laughs> in the last, in the last twelve months. What? <laughs> okay, I thought of all time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and the last question is for me because I got to answer this: Is is John Blackburn the best PM of them all? Give me a hell yeah. A hell yeah. <laughs> In but the last 12 months. Guy, <laughs> nah, of all time. Of all, of all time. time. Okay, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this this fun, insightful experience. And, and I really want to appreciate it.